U.S. tech company Micron says it will invest up to $100 billion over the next 20 years to build a cutting-edge chip manufacturing facility roughly the size of 40 football fields in upstate New York. The White House says the facility will bring 50,000 jobs to the region courtesy of the Chips and Science Act. Folks, uh, we're here to celebrate one of the most significant investments in American history. Again, not hyperbole. One of the most significant investments in American history. And it's going to ensure that the future is made in America. U.S. President Joe Biden signed the CHIPS Act into law over the summer. The package includes more than $50 billion for semiconductor research, development, and production, plus billions more for broader scientific research and development. We're going to increase America's share of global memory chips and production by 500 percent. The CHIPS Act aims to better position the U.S. to deal with supply chain issues and is widely seen as a counter to China. Companies like Micron, which take U.S. subsidies from this act, face restrictions on investing in China. Some critics of the CHIPS Act point out that this is the sort of broad industrial policy the U.S. often accuses China of using to manipulate markets. The Chips and Science Act that provides huge sums of subsidies and tax preference is a typical differentiated industry supporting policy. Some provisions of the bill restrict the normal economic trade and investment activities of relevant companies in China, which is obviously discriminatory and will distort the global semiconductor supply chain and disrupt international trade. China firmly opposes it. The president's visit comes less than two weeks before the U.S. congressional midterm elections. Biden hopes that by highlighting projects like the Micron plant, he'll be able to help his fellow Democrats maintain control of the House and Senate. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.